Let us take up a problem based on current drawn from a power station. A small power station supplies electricity to 5000 lamps connected in parallel. Each lamp has a resistivity of 220 ohms and it is operated at 220 volts. Then total current supplied by the station is option A 2500 amperes, option B 3500 amperes, option C 5000 amperes and option D 10,000 amperes. It's a very simple problem. Current is drawn from a power station and the lamps are connected in parallel. Don't get confused about the parallel combination here. In house, most of the equipments, most of the electrical equipments are connected in parallel. Whether it is fan or TV, refrigerator, geyser or electric bulbs, most of them are connected in parallel and most of them are given 220 voltage approximately with 50 hertz frequency supply, AC supply. And if you want to see what is series combination, you can just see serial sets. Most of the festivals you can see, our festivals are uh, some other functions you can see outside the building, you can see some small lights, they are serial lamps, they are connected in series. There the current flowing is same and the voltage will be different. We will discuss about that concept later. Coming back to this problem, 220 volts is the total voltage available for each of the lamps and they are having 220 ohms of resistance. The current flowing I should be equal to 220 divided by 220 that is equal to 1 amp. 1 amp of current is being given to each of 5000 lamps and all of them are connected in parallel means total current must be sum of all parallel, resist parallel currents that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to 5000 total current must be equal to 5000 amperes. In the circuit shown in figure, the current in 4 ohm resistance is 1.2 amperes. What is the potential difference between B and C? Look at the board, in this problem they have not given voltage source value voltage and you are asked to find out this voltage. But they have given you what is the current flowing in one of the branches. Here current flowing is 1.2 amperes. Current is 1.2 amperes here means current through this must be 0.6 amperes. I don't think I need to explain this because this is 4 ohm. This is 8 ohm, ratio of the resistances is 1 is to 2, then ratio of the current should be 2 is to 1. Ratio of the resistances is 1 is to 2, ratio of the current must be 2 is to 1. This is 1.2, therefore this is 0.6. 1.2 plus 0.6 should give you 1.8 amperes of current here. Voltage is given by total current multiplied by the resistance. 1.8 into 2 that is equal to 3.6 volts. Option A is correct. Let us take up next problem which was asked in one of the recent CETs. The current in 1 ohm resistor shown in the circuit is option A 2 by 3, option B 3 amperes, option C 6 ampere and option D 2 amperes. What is the current flowing through the circuit? What is the total current? If they have not mentioned, you have to find out the total current. Let me teach you standard method first and later let me go to the shortcut. Look at this. These two are parallel to each other. The current coming here will get divided into these two branches. Therefore, these two must be parallel. 4 ohm is parallel to 4 ohm. Therefore, equivalent must be 2 ohms. 
4 ohm parallel to 4 should give you 2. This 2 is connected to this like this. And this is 1 ohm. And this is 6 volt. Now this 2 and 1 ohm are in series. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 divided by 3. See, total is 3 ohms. 3 ohms is the total resistance of the circuit. And total current is given, given by 6 by 3. That is equal to 2 amperes. Option D is correct. This problem is based on electricity passing through series of bulbs and its elimination. The problem is like this, 40 electric bulbs are connected in series across a 220 volt supply. After one bulb is fused, remaining 39 are connected again in series across the same supply. Elimination will be option A, more with 40 bulbs than with 39, option B, more with 39 bulbs than with 40, option C equal in both the cases and option D in the ratio 40 square is to 39 square. Look at this sir, it's a very common kind of question or this is a question based on common sense. Assume that you have one serial set in front of your house for one of the function at your house. There are 40 bulbs connected in series, one of them is fused. What you will do, you will remove that fused bulb and you will reconnect what will be the elimination? This is the question. And of course, the answer is a bit confusing. But it is very simple. If you are connecting only 39 bulbs, actually elimination should be more. What's the reason for this? Elimination is inversely proportional to the resistance. Now, one bulb is already removed. Then resistance is less. If resistance becomes less, elimination becomes more. So, resistance with 39 bulbs is lesser compared to the resistance with 40 bulbs. As resistance is lesser, power is more and hence the illumination is also more. So, with the 39, illumination is more. Therefore, for this option B, more with 39 bulbs than with 40 is correct. Let us take up next problem. 125 centimeter of potentiometer wire balances the EMF of a cell and 100 centimeter of wire is required for the balance. If the poles of the cell are joined by 2 ohm resistor, then the internal resistors of the cell will be Option A, 0.25 ohm Option B, 0.5 ohm Option C, 0.75 ohm Option D, 1.25 ohm See, for this kind of setup, we have a very simple formula for finding out internal resistance. L1 minus L2 by L2 into R. Look at this. This is a formula. So, R is given by L1. L1 is 125. L2 is 100. 125 minus 100. This should give you 25. Divided by L2. L2 means 100 into R. R is 2. 25 by 100 into 2. That is 4 times 2 by 4 is equal to 0.5 ohms. So internal resistance of the circuit is 0.5 ohms. Option B is correct. CHIPS proudly announces admissions for crash course for JE mains and CET coaching. Classes commence after 2nd PUC and 12th board exams.
crash course for second PUC regular. Classes commence after first PUC and 11th board exams. Accommodation assistance provided for outstation candidates. Centers at Kumta, Dandeli and Bangalore.